Hello, we're back in the terrain mixer for Blender, and this time uh, I'm going to show you uh, how to use the tool uh, called Melter or Alienizer. Uh, Melter because it can uh, mimic, in certain situations, can mimic uh, hardened lava, uh, and uh, Alienizer because uh, uh, it can make your terrain look a bit alienish. So uh, I have set this uh, cool looking terrain here and uh, let me just zoom here. I will also change the shading to fast shade <coughs> just so uh, we can see more easily what is going on. So uh, I have this uh, three sliders here, uh, three nodes uh, for three inputs for three uh, sources uh, for the terrain height. So. For example, I can start with this uh, third one, add a bit of effect here, maybe even more, and then move to the first one. So <clears throat> you can see that the uh, terrain has a, a bit more dynamic now. Uh, we can compare it, so if we unplug these two here, you see the way it looked before, and if we plug them in, you see how it looks now. You can even go uh, more extreme into it. Just crank it up a bit more, like so, maybe even like so. So it's really, really dynamic and wavy. And if we check uh, the color and the snow uh, on this terrain now, you will see all the nice details uh, that you get get from it. And now you can easily just bake it uh, it's really a few clicks process inside of terrain mixer and uh, you're ready to go thanks and see you soon